how to tell if it's your intuition speaking to you, right? A lot of people wonder this, guys. They're always like, how do I know if it's my intuition, if it's my, you know, higher self speaking with me? You know, how can you tell? Um, so this is actually a really great question because when you hear, you know, when you get messages from your intuition, it's always in here, right? Like you, the, you just think it or the thought comes in and that's how the message is, you know, kind of brought forth to you. But what's also in your head is your thoughts, right? Your ego. So how to tell the difference? Um, because often it's really hard to tell the difference, especially at first, right? So an easy way to tell is um, if a thought is from your, you know, is it, is it an intuitive thought, an intuitive message, or is it my ego, right? That's the question we're asking. So an easy tell is that the thought will be either based on something in the past, um, so something that's happened to you before, right, a memory, or the thought is based on something that might happen, right, that you're worrying about, something that hasn't happened, doesn't exist yet, it's in the future, um, but the future doesn't exist yet. So when you do, when you're worrying about the future, um, I mean, a lot of people get caught up in this, right, because um, of worry or planning or whatever, right? So, so if the thought is about, you know, something in the future or in the past, that's your ego, okay? That's the easiest way to tell. So, you know, is it in the past? Because what happens is, when there's a thought that comes from the past, it's because usually what it is, it's because the situation that we're in reminds us of something that happened in the past, right? So that's why, I'll, you know, um, I don't know, maybe with like a relationship, right? Maybe you're, uh, maybe you're in a new relationship and the, um, you know, your partner did something that triggered you that made you remember something in the past um, about a past relationship then yeah, that's ego, right? Because that's how ego works. Past or future, it can't, ego cannot, um, cannot be like in the now moment, like right now, like presence. Um, you know, if you know anything about mindset, presence is a huge part of that, just being like in this moment. The ego can't do that. The ego's like a, like a hamster on a treadmill. Like it just wants to like go, 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 go. <laughs> okay. Um, so once you start thinking about the past, then you kind of get sucked down that hole, right? Um, of, yeah, things that have happened in the past, other bad relationships you may have had, you know, like the list goes on, you can fall down that rabbit hole pretty quick, right? So, so that's ego, okay? Um, so with the thought, you know, if you're not sure if that thought is, you know, ego just beacon off or if it's intuitive, is again, if it's in the past or the future, it is ego. Now, for intuitive messages, the biggest difference is your intuition isn't going to be laced with like sadness or worry or anything. It's just going to be like a message, like very simple um, and very like persistent, right? So, Let's say, for example, you have the thought like garage, just the word garage. Your, your intuition, your higher self will just say garage. And if you kind of ignore it, it'll be like garage, garage. It'll be persistent, but it won't be like, oh my God, like go to the garage because this and this is happening. It's not going to be that. It's just going to be garage, garage. Very calm and persistent, right? Um, and the more you act upon your intuition, the easier it gets. Because um, the, there's a, a layer deeper here, guys, where when it's your intuition, you feel it in your body, but you feel it like, you feel it like in your heart, okay? Um, and it's a really good feeling. It's like a lighthearted feeling, like, um, you know, like full of joy. You're just in a great mood. So that's the feeling. Um, that you get when you like consistently listen to your intuition, okay? Because you're getting more connected to it. 
and the more connected to your intuition you are, the easier it is to tell like, oh yeah, like that's obviously my intuition, right? Because you've, um, you've just done it so much and you've rebuilt that connection, right? Just think of it like a rusty pipe or something. You're cleaning out the rust, right? And then the more and more you, um, you listen to your intuition and, um, and act upon it, right? Take action. You're cleaning that rust off of this old, um, what did I say, pipe, okay? And then as it's getting cleaned, then there's more, the, the intuitive messages can come in easier and smoother, for lack of a better term, because you're cleaning some of that rust off, right? This makes sense, guys. Let me know in the comments, um, and make sure to like this broadcast, broadcast too. Okay, and um, yeah, share it around if you feel that this um, that this may resonate with someone that you know too. Right? Um, yeah, I want to get this group a little bit bigger so we can do um, more fun things, right? Like an intuitive Q and A or something. So. Um, yeah, so invite your friends to the page, but make sure they answer all the questions, okay? Because um, if you don't answer all the questions, I don't approve you. <laughs> so as long as they answer all the questions, I think there's only like one or two. So it's not a big thing. Um, yeah, so what else? What are the kind of questions you guys have about um, your intuition or um, receiving intuitive messages, right? Are you, do you find that you're very sensitive to this and um, getting these kinds of intuitive messages or, you know, messages from your guides or your higher self, you know, whatever kind of language you want to use, guys, um, just replace whatever I'm saying. Because um, essentially, like, it's all the same thing. It's just we're different words describing the same thing, right? Like angels and God and you know, higher self and everything. It's all the same thing. It's just different words. But anyways, that's another video. So let me know in the comments, okay? Um, intuitive messages, right? And um, do you guys have any questions about it? Drop them in the comments, okay? Um, and I'll do a broadcast on it, okay? I'll answer your question live on, on here. So yeah, intuition versus ego. Is the thought based in the past or the future? If it's a yes to either, that's ego, okay? Um, but if it's like a calm, persistent message, but that isn't laced with any emotion, really. And um, again, it's just, it'll just be like one or two words, right? Um, like no, or you know, whatever. So how are you at perceiving the difference, right? Is it different for you? What kind of feelings do you feel when you're like really tapping into your intuition? Do you feel it in your heart like me, right? Um, or maybe some, somewhere else, right? Maybe you're, you feel it in your crown chakra. Let me know, okay? Um, yeah, and so, what else was there? Um, yeah, so intuition. And it's just going to be calm, calm. There you go. If there's ever a feeling attached to it, it's calm, consistent, and very concise. Okay, those three C's. And um, yeah, that's pretty much um, that's pretty much it. And I'm walking in my neighborhood, and I mean my neighborhood. <laughs> the neighbors have cows, so let me see if I can flip this to show you, uh, maybe not, so I'll just, do you see them? Yeah. Um, yeah, so maybe I should look that up. Spiritual meaning of cows. I think they're very grounding animals um, from what I've noticed living here the past few years. Um, it seems that cows are very similar to horses and dogs, right? They're very, those animals are very grounding, like horses and dogs. Um, Often, if you have a dog around you, like to the point where my, my neighbors have a chihuahua, lovely, like cutest little thing in the world. Um, chihuahuas, lots of energy, right? 
and I have noticed that when he comes around me and he's like really excited, excited, I will check my own, um, I'll check my own energies, right? I'm like, okay, what's going on with me? Like, am I having like, am I on like the thought wheel, you know, the hamster on the treadmill thing? Am I nervous about something? And am I angry about something? So I'll like check and often enough there is something. Um, and then just the dog just calms down right next to me. So I'm like, oh, like that's what they mean by dogs are grounding. They just have a grounding energy. And so do horses, for sure dogs and horses. And I'm not sure about cows, but I would, I would say they are because, I mean, just how I feel when I see them, even um, I didn't necessarily be that close to them, but um, be near them, right? Yeah, so let me know in the comments. Guys, okay. Um, intuitive messages versus egoic thoughts. Let me know what your experience has been. Um, if you have any questions, if I can clarify anything, um, and maybe some examples that you may want to share with us, right? Drop them in the comments, guys. Okay, I love you. Have a great night and I will talk to you guys later.